Hello, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the power of Skype. Now, probably a lot of you already know what Skype is, and this isn't for you. This is for the people that don't know what it is, it's kind of an introductory review, kind of, of, wh of what it can do. So, Skype, you can get it free from skype.com, and... Um, and you can run it virtually on any operating system that has a graphical user interface. It runs on Windows, OS X and a lot of versions of Linux. Um it's it's not o it's not open source but it's freeware, although they have some packages. Now uh, at its core this is just on a, another instant messenger. It's another network, you can have Skype IDs and that sort of stuff. But what it's meant for, and the core kind of functionality of exactly what it's meant for, is to make voice calls. So, uh, especially for like me, it's, it's really good to um, have access to know exactly um, what 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 you're doing and uh, uh, be be able to actually talk to people in person. This is becomes apparent how many people don't know about Skype when I um take free website requests because I ask them to provide a Skype ID so I can talk to them about it and they're like, what Skype um so I'm gonna talk to about it. It runs on the voice over IP protocol and voice is obviously a voice over means over something I mean stands internet and then protocol so it's, it's voice over the internet protocol that's literally what it means and there's several clients out there to, to do this um, but Skype offers free computer to computer calls as long as you sign up for a username. So, I'm just going to kind of do a little review of it and show you everything that we can do inside the Skype application. This is the Mac version, but the Windows version is very similar. As you can see, we've got a very simple interface here. We've got search someone by a Skype name, i.e. the name that they've used to log on to the service, or on their phone number. You have to include the country code. Because with Skype you can call phone numbers, which I'll come to later. Um, but as we can see, come, kind of going from the um, left towards the right and um, we've got my my skype status which we can change which people will see as you see most people are um offline but these one person called beverly cole is in in the skype me mode what skype me means is that you want you want to talk to people and you want to have them talk to you. So that's pretty much your status. You you use a name which you can use to um say a description of yourself. Um that is what will sh show here when you're when you're either online or offline. Um, we've got a uh, currency calculator, how much money you have, and this is how much money you have in your Skype account. Um, now, Skype can be used, although the computer one's free, it, some people actually use it to um, call their phones and you can actually buy Skype 
phones or wipe phones. Um, so it really is a full featured system. So that, if you click that number there, it shows you all the um, services that you can get. Skype out is the um, service where you can call phones. Online number is where people can actually call you but they don't have to have their Skype client. And Skype voicemail is having a voicemail that you can have on your phone. Um, what, what you can also do is click view account details and it'll, it'll take me to the login page for my account where I can buy Skype credit and and even sign up to um monthly contracts like you do with a mobile phone plan. And then to the right of that we've we've got um my missed calls or correspondence when people have tried to call me. As you can see there's a missed call from Anne and it it tells me the date and the time in which it was made and then the basic interface just shows me all my contacts and there's statuses and then if we look down here we've got this call phones um thing Sorry about this, guys. Um, but anyway, this is what a Skype chat window looks like. And as you notice, Am is offline, but I can still leave messages for him. So it's really cool that way. Um, I could just say hi and it would send a message and say the time that I sent it and when he logs on it will populate in there um, but if we go back to the main interface this is why you can you can call phones for writing out Skype credit. You can add a contact, which um, brings you up with a simple window here where you can add someone's Skype name. And so this is what you do if someone said, "Add me on Skype," and, or you can even add someone's phone number in, into your contact list just like you do with a conventional mobile phone and um, we also have this change settings button which allows you to group contacts and things if we look at the um, preferences um, now I'll I'll show you the what it's like to call someone. I'm gonna call a live person or a person that's online. By default, you get this uh, Skype test call person, and I, as you see, their status is call me to test your sound. So this is a robot that's always online. So all we have to do to activate the core of the thing is click on her and then click the green telephone button. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hi, this is a test. So she's basically helping me test my audio. Again, again, this is a machine, but I, I just wanted to show what it would be like to call someone. So she's basically helping me test my audio. Again, this is a test. 
and I'll just We've got a couple of options. We can pause the call and it says call on hold. We can mute our microphone and start our video. Um, now you notice, notice the Beverly Cole's name here has this um, camera. That means that we can start a video chat. Now, I'm not going to do that right now, but you can do. Um, so. So that that's that's pretty much Skype, but it opens up so many possibilities. Go download it, Skype.com. All the eggs and microphone and a camera, and you can get started voice chatting today. Thanks for watching.